Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Slazzle. We're going to be pairing it up with several different Pokemon. Deoxys and Svilus are going to be the final product for this team here. I am going to be going into the Great League because I do need to complete those tasks. Otherwise I would have been in the Ultra League or the Master League. I enjoy the Great League from time to time but honestly it's just like I'm good. <laughs> I'll just go into the Master League where the meta is so shrunken down. That I can't get countered by the algorithm every freaking game. So for these Phylus, I am going to be using a very high ranks for the Great League. I, I forgot exactly where it's ranked, but uh, I did get it during the Dino Community Day, of course. And, uh, well, Phylus is a definitely fun Pokemon to use. You definitely do need to look out for Fairy type, specifically Charm, which will be taking you out in like three charms <laughs> because you're going to be Dragon and Dark both weak to that. So Wishcash really putting up a little bit of a fight here, eh? Uh, all right, so they're going to be swapping again, going to be catching a Mud Bomb. I kind of just threw that, all right? I was being a little bit lazy and I was like, yeah, I'll just throw it. As soon as I bring in the Snorlax and they see that up against their Trevenant, they say, I don't want anything to do with that. And they back out, we take the win. Next battle, leading with Wall Raid. Look, it, it's experimental time. See, this is exactly what I do. If you're new here, I test out all kinds of stuff uh, so we can make a new kind of a combination team here. And uh, if we take a bunch of losses, that's just what we have to do in the process here. That's why our rank isn't high enough. But uh, hey, hey, look, it's it's all good, right? We're still having a good time here. Like, well, we're trying, folks. We're <laughs> Somebody said they would love to be a fly on the wall. Uh, during my Go Battle League sessions. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you were a fly on the wall while you watched me play Go Battle League, I'm going to tell you that is going to be some A++++ entertainment for you. Definitely not for kids. A lot of profanity, a lot of screaming, a lot of rage. Oh boy. <laughs> that would be crazy if I was to release I would. I don't know if I would ever would do that, but it would probably just make me more ragey because people know, you know, the, you know, the obsessed ones, you know, there's a difference between being a fan and being like a hater obsessed. They would just be all over it looking for me, trying to snipe me, right? This is why I don't go live, okay? It's like, uh, what, what, what will happen if a big earthquake uh, destroyed the Hoover Dam? I don't know. You, you tell me, all right? <laughs> you tell me. It's an obvious sign of what's going to happen exactly. So this is why we just don't go live uh, and do go battle league because, well... The, yeah, we'd have to be looking out for those snipers all over the range. Anyways, next battle, going with the wall range still. We're going to be getting sick and tired of this, and we're going to have to swap it up. We do have the Shadow Hitmonchan, which I just absolutely adore. Probably my favorite fighting type. I mean, but Champ is definitely up there. He's you know, my OG for sure, but Hitmonchan, I like it because it's spicy, right? It's not as easy to use. So we're going to actually land the Earthquake, which is pretty amazing here. They're going to be bringing in their Skarmory, and we're getting an Icicle Spear through on our Shadow Wall Rain, which is doing a decent amount of damage. Now, obviously, we're not going in here with Hitmonchan. Meh, you know, it's okay, actually. Okay matchup, but we're going to go in here with Slazzle because we're not taking super effective from the quick move, and we can simply farm down with those Incinerates. And they're going to be bringing in, they have an Azumarill in the back. And we've got all this energy loaded up, folks. It's looking like we're going to be able to potentially take this win here. Now, Slazzle is one of those, just probably one of the squishiest Pokemon I have ever used in Pokemon Go. Uh, you, you, you got other squishier ones like Sharpedo, but okay. All right, we get it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and bring out our Hitmonchan so they can start getting more energy. And we can get to this Thunder Punch and take the win here and not even hit a single bubble. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Folks, you really did support me in my last video. I appreciate that. If you can go ahead and do the same for this one, I would really, 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 really be much appreciated and humbled for that. So we're going to have a good lead here up against a Hypno, and they're going to be swapping into a Machamp, and we're going to go ahead and bring in the Deoxys here. Do we have the full team going here with the Spy? Yes, we do. All right, so we're... Uh... With the full team at about four minute marker, no problem at all. Give us about uh, 14 minutes of battles here, plus the end credits. All right, so we're back up against this Hypno here. We do have Thunderbolt, so we're going to go ahead and go for that. It is a Shadow Hypno, so those confusions, although resisted by the Deoxys, are still doing a decent amount of damage. We get to the Psycho Boost here. Let's see if they want to shield it up. And they do, because you know, I just don't want to take that risk if it was a Thunderbolt with all that energy on the Hypno. Bring it in the Spylus, and we're going to go ahead and let this go. Calling a Bait or no Ice Punch, basically. And it was a Thunder Punch, so good call on my end. Plus, resisting the confusion. This is great. They're going to be retreating with energy, bringing in a Wall Rain. They have no more shields, and I'm thinking, what should I do? 
Should I go for two Poison Fangs plus the Farm Down or just go straight for the Fire Blast here? I think we'll let this go and go for the Fire Blast and we'll be looking good to go. We could have definitely went for it. Eh, no, 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 because we would have given them leeway to farm up extra and it takes forever for each quick move for this Slazzle here. So we are actually going to have a mirror match later down the line. So look forward to that is actually my first one. Next battle met with an Umbreon with our Spilus in the lead. This is a great matchup here. I mean, the only thing that could technically hit you with that's going to be doing a decent amount of damage is going to be Last Resort, and there it is. It's okay, doing okay. We're digging in really nicely with that Dragon Breath, building up to two Body Slams here, going for the first one, and you will be able to outpace them here for sure if you are these Phylus. If they want to shield up, obviously, that's going to put a bit of a damper in the whole situation, but you're going to be able to let these go, and I mean, the only thing you got to technically worry about is like a Snipe right here. But if they did want to do that, okay, they just lock themselves in. You're going to be able to potentially take them out with whatever you do have in the back. And they're bringing in a Swampert here. So this is actually good since uh, we do have the Salazzle, which doesn't want anything to do with a Swampert at all. So we're bringing in the Deoxys. Going to let that first Hydro Cannon go. And I'm figuring they're not going to have another Water type in the back. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of put our, all of our hope into the Salazzle in the back here. Going for the Psycho Boost. I mean, because Thunderbolt, I mean, what are you going to go for Thunderbolt on a Swampert? And they have a Cresselia. So this is going to get very interesting. Now, here's the fun part is, yes, we both have two shields. They're going to be able to shield up. So are we. Their Psycho Cut is actually super effective, and it is slowly but surely digging in. But this little Slazzle here, yes, might, might be squishy, but it hits so hard. So what we're going to do here is just keep going for Poison Fangs. As much as I wanted to go for a Fire Blast, it's, it's really not worth it. Just simply keep adding up the Incinerates plus the Poison Fangs and look at how we're able to just slowly but surely weather this thing down here. I figured this was going to be a bait. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. It's not worth just letting it go. And even that Grass Knot there probably still would have done a decent amount of damage to our Slazzle because that's just the way it is. All right. <laughs> Taking the win there. Next battle. What are we going to see with Phylus? Oh my goodness, story of my life. Galarian Stunfist, so we got to swap. Bring it in Deoxys, and they're going to be bringing in Metacham. Okay, I will say let's do it. This is a good matchup for me. So we're going to go for the Thunderbolt. And eventually we will start going for the Psycho Boost, maybe. Because we also have to consider once they you know go down, they'll be probably bringing in the Galarian Stunfisk. And I still want to kind of do... The normal counter damage to them here so let's see calling the power up punch the only thing that they can really hit us with is ice punch and or if they power punch two times and they go for psychic that's the only thing psychic taking me down wow damn i definitely underestimated that damage that's kind of a little bit ridiculous and another reason why i don't like greatly because everything's just can't take a hit so freaking annoying <laughs> So we're just going to go straight for the Fire Blast here. We're just going straight nuke, say, Tropius, and we're swapping. All right, so this is perfect. Okay, so I was going to try to Fire Blast that Galarian Stunfist. So we took them out. They're Tropius. They've only got one Pokemon. Dragon Breaths are resisted. Body Slams are resisted. Takes forever to get to a Dark Pulse with Dragon Breath on Spilus. So we're going to go ahead and do it, though. Let's get it. Okay, because their shields, oh no, their shields, they got one left, letting it go. That was a big one there. We really kind of needed that to happen. So we will shield this up, Slazzle on the back, shield this at this point. They've got one shield left, and I kind of really need to finesse this battle here. We got it. Okay, let's go. And let's see, this should be a rock slide. We will survive immediately swapping into our Slazzle, and we will be able to quick move down. It's really annoying because when you throw in your Pokemon, it, it doesn't show the quick move, but it is getting through. Sometimes I feel like it's not, though. Leading with Spilus badly with a Toxic Rogue. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Deoxys and going straight for the Psycho Boost, not even screwing around. Just going right for it right away. And they're staying here in here. We're going to let this go. Calling the Mud Bomb. Yes, good call. All right, going for another Psycho Boost, which is still going to be, uh, I don't know if it's enough to take them out, but it's still going to be a lot. They shield it up using Bold Shields and swapping and locking themselves in the battle with their Ferrothorn here. So our Slazzle is going to absolutely just completely eradicate and melt, disintegrate this thing. So they go for Power Whip. They get me there. You got me. Okay. I was afraid that we're going to hit me with a Thunder. Okay, so they go for a Power Whip. We call it good, holding on to our shield. Still no shields on their end. Still no shields on their end. Yeah, because you know how you can get those new shields now. You can accumulate them in the middle of the battle. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go for the Fire Blast, pulling out all the stuff. I'm just going to go full 
destroy. Let's get it. And they got a Gramble in the back. And Slazzle's actually going to be sweeping up this little snake. This little lizard. It's not a snake. It's a lizard. But lizard snakes, it's all the same, right? <laughs> Reptile lovers are like rolling their eyes like, she poke. You have no idea what you're talking about. All right, next battle. We have a Gramble lead. And... Uh, this is okay. I mean, yeah, this is fine. Better than the the, the uh, Svilas, right? We got it in the middle. So you, you remember when we were talking about how the algorithm picks up on Pokemon's moves on the back? Niantic was like, there's no algorithm for Pokemon. Yeah, because it's for moves, Niantic, you snaky snakes. Jeez, what's with these guys? They're like a, they're like slazzle themselves. <laughs> Freaking snake of the tree trying to feed us these apples. Okay, so... All right, so back to what I was talking about really quick so you can test it out yourself is ever since I was really starting to, I guess, expose or just talk about the algorithm and how you can manipulate it and how you can see Pokemon in the back of your team are going to actually be weak or strong against the Pokemon that you're going to be seeing in the front of your Pokemon or your opponent's team. I feel like they sw switched it up from the back to the middle because of that. So you just go ahead and pay attention to all that. Like, it's either going to be the Pokemon in the middle is going to resist or be strong against the Pokemon in the front, depending on the moves. Okay, just give it a shot. You tell me. Anyways, we'll keep on moving along here and we see what we got going on here. So we go straight for the Psycho Boost. I don't even want to screw around with the Thunderbolt up against that thing. So we just keep going. I mean, it's better off for you to just do this. Now, it really depends. You kind of want to build up a little bit more so you don't do less damage with your counter so they did use a shield so unfortunately you know they're going to be winning this matchup here but this is the decision that i did make we're going to go ahead and let this go as well so we can hold on to our shields and kind of just hoping that we can uh see if we can counter them here so i figured they got the water in the front they're probably not going to have another water in the back if we get rid of that thing slazzle's going to have an absolute blast so we got an umbreon here going up against our Sphilus. there must be something in the back i'm calling maybe ghost or there it is, a ghost. There you go. Like, Pokey, you've already done these battles. Me, come on, stop acting like you're calling it. I will, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> so we bring in our Slazzle here, and I'm getting a little nervous. This is still a losable battle. They could still totally take this win on us here if they like bait us and they freaking bait me and they swap into their Umbreon. I'm like, you probably got Psychic, I bet. I bet you got Psychic. So we lower their defense. Now. If they, the only thing that will KO is Psychic here. And yep, that, that they do. Story of my life. Again, story of my life. So we're so low. Uh, we know they have Psychic and Foul Play, so they can't KO us, right? All right. So they're not going to be able to take the win. Spyless, thank you very much, buddy. Old Paolo friend here. Body Slam for the win. Let's go. Moving on to our next battle here. What are we going to lead with? Deoxys met with a Gramble. What's in the middle? Spyless? Yeah, that's what I freaking thought exactly. Do you see the DC what's going on here? A lot of grambles all of a sudden when I put Spilus in the middle. Very, 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 very curious. And you go ahead and put that Slazzle up in the front and then all of a sudden they start to disappearing and then you'll just start seeing like ice or something. I mean, that's still a good matchup for you. It's just, oh boy, I don't even know. <laughs> all it takes is a little bit of paying attention, right? A little bit of critical thinking skills. All right, anyways, going for the Dark Pulse here. Spilus putting in that work, taking out the Empoleon. Should have farmed a little bit more because they take me out here with that Gramble with a freaking... <laughs> One Charm, you're out of here! All right, so we do need to shield this up because Crunch is going to still hurt us quite a bit. Unfortunately, using our last shield, let's the back of Wall Rain. Folks, this is looking a little bit sweaty here. So we're going to build up to a Fire Blast, make them think that we're going for it. And we get a shield. Ah, bring it in Deoxys. We get an Earthquake. Folks, we just caught an earthquake. <laughs> GG. It's not over yet until it's over. Okay? Because Icicle Spear is still going to hurt us. If we can farm them down. Oh, boy. Let's go. It's over. Now we go for the Poison Fang here. And Salazzle yet again sweeping it up for us in the end. Let's go. Okay, let's keep it moving here. Got a couple more battles for you. Let's see what we're going to have next. Leading with Slazzle, met with a Deoxys. This is not good because, well, we got to look out for Psycho Boost. They're going to actually be able to pretty much one-shot. <laughs> not pretty much. They will one-shot me with Psycho Boost or Rock Slide. Okay, well, that's another option too. Now, I'm just hoping and praying. Please, let this go. This is just a Poison Fang. Fire Blast, one-shot Deoxys. Let's go, boys and girls. And they're bringing in a Lickitung. We're going to go ahead and lower that defense. I do believe I swap after this because I want to keep the Slazzle alive. Because we're in a decent position here. And they have a Wall Raid in the back to counter the R. Sphilus. 
but that's okay. Do you see where this is going with the Deoxys back here and a little bit of health left on the Slazzle? It's not over yet. Oh no, 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 it's not over even close. So they're going to be almost taking us out, getting a little bit of extra farm. They've got one shield left. We've got one as well and full health on our Deoxys. Oh, it's going down. Super effective with our counter. Yes, it's looking beautiful here. So we're going to go for the Psycho Boost and we're just going to immediately swap after this. If they shield it up, that's great. Now, I do believe, uh, I think they closed their app here. I think they closed their app or, or it could be lag or... They could try to close and minimize the screen to make it lag so my charge move didn't do damage. The possibilities are endless, but all I know is I'm not waiting around. <sighs> Why is it only happening when it seems like they're going to win and then all of a sudden uh, some sort of flip happens and you make you turn the battle around and then all of a sudden it starts freezing and lagging when it wasn't lagging when they were ahead. Do you see? Give me this crap. This game, people are so funny. Anyways, up against a Trevenant here. Let's go ahead and let that go. Call in the Seed Bomb. And we're going to be taking out that Trevenant. Let's get it. And they're bringing in a Galarian Stunfisk. As much as I wanted to go for that Fire Blast, I don't think we're going to make it. Definitely not. All right, so this is where things get interesting. I lower their defense and I'm all excited. Like, I'm going to bring in Deoxys. Yeah. And I freaking bring in Spilus. I screw up. But they immediately swap into Scrafty. And I'm thinking, no way. No way, you just literally helped me win. Like, I was going to probably win already. And... Nah, if I went to... No, technically, Fate just helped me out here. Because if we would have went in with Deoxys, we would have, you know, took damage, and then they would have came in with Scrafty, did damage, and then the Sphilus would have just been countered down. And then Pup, counter, countered, it's over. So it worked. So me screwing up helped me. Isn't that something? Let's go. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Um... You know what happens? Sometimes people just systematically swap. They're just like, wah! You know, it happens to me all the time. So you just have to have those nerves of steel and just kind of process so much within a few seconds. Literally, like two seconds, you got to process and think about how you're going to pull out this win. How much energy is going to do this or that or whatever the case is, you know? It's just tap, tap, tap. It can definitely be a tap, tap, tap. If you're sitting over here with a Bastid on or a Shadow a Victory Bell uh you know things like that right you know that definitely a tap 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 game at that point for sure all right next battle we're going to be met with an azumarill with our slazzle so this is a fine matchup here you kind of really have to know how to work incinerate you have to make sure you don't over tap you have to know like exactly how this matchup works or else you're going to kind of start losing your nerves and it's not going to be looking good so here we are. Oh, and by the way, the IVs, if you saw in the beginning, are just absolutely garbage because it was through a trade. So me knowing that we they didn't get a bubble through here, we're not going to go down as soon as this is over. So we're going to shield that up. Get off this Poison Fang. Take this win or they're going to shield it up. Okay, we're going to just take this win with one HP on the Slazzle. Let's freaking go. And they take us out without any farm, which is great. Now I have a decision to make here. We go ahead and bring in our Spilus because I figured, okay, Aqua Tail, Crunch, Sludge Bomb's the only thing they can hurt us with. Okay, so they got Crunch. Great. They swap and they have a surf fetch. We immediately bring in our Deoxys and we're looking P G key here. Now Night Slash, yeah, 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 it's gonna hurt. Definitely something we don't wanna mess around with. So we go for the Thunderbolt because I don't wanna lower my uh, counter damage yet. And uh, well, Spyless doesn't really wanna see surf fetch counter damage because that it's really hard hitting. And by the way, I have to always say it, nice golden duck, those things are always looking great. Got one myself. Well, I haven't evolved it yet. Still waiting. Anyways, in comes the Drapion here. We're going to, well, we're going to let it go. We have no shield. So they got, uh, ooh, double resisted moves here. So we uh, don't really need to worry about them taking us out with a Sludge Bomb and taking the win there. Let's go. Thank you, Spilus. Moving it on to our next opponent here. And we're going to be back. Oh, here it is. Here's that mirror match. So let's see if they're running the same moves. Let's see if there's any lag. Let's see exactly what's happening here. It looks so far so good. So we're able to sneak one of those through. So I'm getting a little bit curious here. So I shield up the last second. Honestly, I thought I didn't shield. You know, one of those moments where you push it literally at the last second. So thank goodness I did. They have a Dragon Pulse. They swap into their Mandibuzz. We're going to go ahead and go for that Poison Fang, lowering their defense and swapping into our Spilus, which loves to see this thing here. Now, the only thing we really need to look out for is going to be that Aerial Ace, which can be spammed at a decent rate here. 
but we will be resisting the dark move, so no problem at all. While our Dragon Breath is really digging in and this Body Slam is just neutral, also they have been lowered on their defense. Something I should have done here was under tap the Body Slam so I can gain a little bit more farm. That was a little bit of a screw up, a little bit of a situational thing that I could have done there. Just a little heads up for you too. So we are going for a Body Slam on, what was that that they bring in? A Metacham, okay, sounds good. We're gonna immediately swap and go for the Poison Fang. Our, uh, yeah, Poison Fang on the Slazzle. They swapped the catch on theirs, and I knew this was going to happen. This is perfectly fine. We have the Deoxys in the back. I'm just setting this whole thing up. It's all good. We're going to bring in the Spilus here. We're going to barely take this win. Beautiful. They're going to counter us down with one counter. Perfect. They're already down to half health. There's nothing they can do. The only thing that they can hit us with is Ice Punch, and that's going to take them nowhere with Deoxys. And we're going to go straight for the Thunderbolt. And this is going to be the last battle. So if you haven't hit the like button, please do. I really do appreciate it, folks. Really, really do. And let's get it. All right. What's going to happen? What are they going to hit me with? Psychic. There you go. Still not enough. Going for the Psycho Boost. And we're taking the win here, folks. Thank you so much for watching and everybody who supports me. Have a good day. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.